this little show you stumbled upon right here is Riding with Rob. We like to talk about car parts, uh, performance stuff, and uh, cars and things of that nature. So uh, if you like cars, you're probably in the right spot. Now, today we're talking about the biggest scam of a car part that's out there today. Yes, even bigger than the uh, tornado, <laughs> and even a bigger scam than the turbo whistle. And that is the electronic supercharger, also known as the turbinator. If you ever tried to look on eBay for any type of turbocharger for your car or turbo kit, um, you've probably stumbled across this. Now, uh, first and foremost, let me just go ahead and skip right to the end. Uh, they don't work. They don't create any power. They don't create any boost. They don't work. They're a complete total ripoff, complete total scam. doesn't matter if you buy the super expensive one or if you buy the really cheap one. It's the same part. It's a scam. Don't buy it. Okay? If you've already bought one of these, I'm sorry. Uh, I apologize. So, uh, let's quit and Tarantino this bitch and let's, let's go back. Let's go back to the beginning. Okay? So, first of all, when you're looking at something like this, um, if it's too good to be true, it, it completely is. Now, if you could create, boost, and um, solve the issue of, of turbocharging or supercharging a car by simply putting an electric fan on it, uh, racing teams have been doing this for years. Uh, Formula One is usually the leader when it comes down to new car technology. You know, that's where we get things like paddle shifters and twin clutch systems and things like that. So, when it comes to something like this, where they're like, don't worry about buying a new fuel system or an expensive turbocharger and an intercooler and all these extra things, all you need is this little fan from 30 to 130 bucks I've seen them go for. Uh, what? Obviously, you know, there's there's got to be something wrong here. Now, the next thing you want to really consider is the design of it. It's, it's literally just a tube with a fan going through it. It doesn't have any kind of compressor type design. If you ever looked at your standard shop air compressor or, or a turbocharger or a supercharger, they're designed so that way the intake is very big and uh, not the exhaust, but where it's pushing actually making pressure is actually a lot smaller. Uh, this is very apparent on a turbocharger. You got your big old inlet and your tiny little outlet that goes to your intercooler. So they're not designed to actually compress air. Now, on the box, they claim to make about five pounds of boost, which uh, is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> if you're going to put any kind of boost into a car, it needs more fuel because you're getting more air. Most cars suck in about 14 pounds of pressure, roughly. And every car is a little bit different. Um, I'm sure maybe I might be a little off on my uh, the exact amount of vacuum that each car gets, but right around 14 pounds uh, of, of vacuum is, is what a normal car will, will suck in. So for it to be able to make 14 or five pounds of boost, um, first it has to overcome that 14 pounds of vacuum, and then it has to be able to push an extra five pounds behind that. Now, without being designed like a compressor, it's just literally a tube with a fan inside of it, um, it's not likely. It's not likely to happen whatsoever. <laughs> and so, and then you also have to consider um, the rate of speed at which an electric fan can spin um, versus the rate of speed that something uh, like a turbocharger can spin. Now, turbochargers can spin extraordinarily fast. Uh, they're the fastest moving type compressor for your uh, car. Now, they don't, superchargers also... Turbochargers, so if you don't know really the difference between those, um, go ahead and check that video out. But anyway, um, so you gotta imagine uh, a turbo is being driven by the exhaust and um, is either as an oil bearing or a ball bearing with that's running oil through it. So, really, I mean, its rate um, as far as revolutions per minute is very, very high. Uh, it could very easily um, spin, you know. 20,000, 30,000 RPM, uh, you know, an electric fan really isn't going to be able to, to pull off the, the type of stuff that a turbocharger can. It just, it's not going to be able to do it. Um, superchargers, also, you have to realize that, um, you know, they are very big, but, um, you know, 
they're driven by, you know, the pulley and the belt and just the, the multiplication of, you know, your standard R engine RPMs to the smaller pulley that's attached to the supercharger, it's going to spin much faster also. And also they're designed like compressors, so they're going to compress air. Now, you also want to take a, take a minute and step back and be like, do I really want to put something into the intake of my car that could possibly break apart into a million pieces and shatter? Because if you read the fine print on, on you know, the descriptions or, or anything like that of these parts, they all say, um, you know, maximum time of use about 10 seconds. So that's about the maximum amount of time that, uh, I don't know what this guy's doing, he's fucking with me. So that's about the maximum amount of time that that electric fan can be on. Now, if you're really, you know, having fun and, and you know, maybe cruising down the highway or whatever, you're, you're doing racing, bottle cross something, right? Uh, more than likely, that fan's going to be operating for more than just 10 seconds at a time. And, uh, I mean, it's going to get overheated, it's going to blow out the motor, and then what do you have? You have a big restriction in your intake because there's just a dead fan sitting there. So, I mean, really, when you look at the design of it, uh, versus the design of actual performance parts and you look at what racing teams are doing and what professional uh, car builders are doing, no one's going electric. And the fact of the matter is, when you add more air to a car, you have to also add more fuel. And this uh, electronic supercharger thing, fan for your car, does, does not have any kind of fuel system modifications, doesn't modify the mass airflow sensor at all. So, really you're not going to gain any power out of this. If you feel like you can feel it, I, I guarantee you, you're not making any power off of this. It's all in your head. Um, I've seen the videos. There's videos online of people using them on dynos. Um, they don't make any power. Uh, actually, you, you're more likely to make power off a leaf blower, but let's, let's be honest. These things are not made to compress air. They're made to move engine, it, it's more going to be a restriction than it is going to be any kind of performance uh, enhancement. Especially when you consider that it only is triggered on at full throttle. There's a little, you know, switch you either put on the pedal or by the, uh, the throttle body and it, and it clicks it at full throttle. So all the other times you have this big restriction in your airflow. So you're going to be losing, you know, your standard horsepower you know, throughout the rest of, of your power band. And when you turbo or supercharge a car, you take it, you get it tuned, You, they do it at half throttle, quarter throttle, full throttle, three quarters throttle, and they go through and they tune out all the aspects of the, of the car so that way you'll get the most performance out of it. So when you really come down to it, don't waste your money, okay? If you're looking at this going, oh, man, I could, you know, buy this $100 uh, electric fan supercharger thing and stick it in my car and I don't have to, you know, spend, you know, the, the thousand to two thousand dollars to, you know, put a nice turbo kit or supercharger kit onto my car and getting it tuned and all of that thing. Um, you're not going to see power gains out of this. You, you're much better off just completely avoiding an electronic supercharger. So let me know what you guys think about uh, the electronic supercharger in the comment section down below while you're down there. If you could like the video, hit subscribe and uh, see more of my fun videos. Um, if you have any questions about cars, car parts, uh, maybe you bought one of these uh, electronic superchargers, there's a little comment section. You can message me. That's cool, too. Hey, guys, I'm Rob telling you to enjoy your drive.